The BBC have put out a second statement in regards to requests by news channels and cables and this just makes the whole Kate Middleton saga even more weird. Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. Guys, it is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. But let's get into this because first and foremost, we recalled a week ago, the BBC put out a very passive aggressive statement in regards to defending the coverage of Kate Middleton during the whole international photo scandal. And it doesn't make any sense to me. I find it to be very confusing as to why they put that statement out. Nobody was asking for it. And of course, they received a lot of critique. Now, there has been an information, freedom of information request, which anybody can do when it comes to news channel cables, um, cable, sorry, who are requesting information in regards to that video that the BBC put out and whether it was AI, because of course that has been large amounts of conversations with all the edits that people have seen, the missing ring as well, and where, you know, AI companies have come out and stated that, that they think that this is X, Y, Z. We already know about it. But the BBC refuses to respond to Unity Newsnet's freedom of information requests as to whether the AI deepfake technology was used in any form in the Kate Middleton video. They state that information that relates to the BBC's output or information that supports and is closely associated with these creative activities is considered to be held by the BBC for the purpose of art and journalism. Such information held by the BBC and other public service broadcasters falls outside the scope of the FOI Act. So this is very interesting because they could have just said no. They could have easily denied that this was even fake. They could have easily said that this, you know, doesn't make any sense. But instead of putting that out, they put out another defensive statement and not provide any proof in any regards. An impartial answer or getting defensive is your answer within itself, in my opinion, because there's no smoke without fire. There's one cockroach. You find many cockroaches behind that door. That's exactly what's going on here right now. It doesn't make sense to me as to why the BBC are constantly being so passive aggressive and defensive in the past week and a half in regards to Kate Middleton. Nobody's asking them to talk like this. Nobody wants this reaction. Everybody's very much confused, but they keep reacting in this way because there is some guilt behind what is being done, in my humble opinion. I do find it to be very bizarre that they put this out. The BBC initial statement went viral. It was all over the UK press. It was all over international press. So yet again, them stating something like this is going to add more fuel to that fire, which is not something that the BBC would even want, let alone the royal family. But we do know that the royal family and the UK press are in direct cahoots and have a relationship together because the Sun did confirm that they were the ones who planned that farm shop video where Prince William and Kate Middleton were seen only for then other individuals like Christopher Boozy to expose the fact that that wasn't even Kate Middleton in that video. And the fact that the CNN have considered them to be no longer a trustable source as royal entity is a big blow to their billion dollar empire. But of course, since then, everything is being questioned by what they are doing. So if the BBC is associated, which I'm not really surprised by, considering the fact that the BBC have covered up for a large amount of paedophiles, such as Jimmy Savile is one example. You know, we're going down the wrong road here is what I'm saying. I do feel like the BBC are in cahoots with the royal family because we know the press are. And this is why they are responding with constant aggressive statements when they could have just declined and said no, simply that this was an X, Y, Z, but they rather not done that. And I don't know why. Make of this what you will do subscribe to the channel, comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Every day there is some fresh royal madness. The royal family in the UK guys, honestly, it's just so embarrassing. Like no other family in the world has this amount of drama constantly and they're constantly embarrassing everybody in the UK and it's just annoying. Subscribe or comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys soon for another video.